Kick, kick it. We'll be here all night. Need your glasses. <laughs> Zach. What's up, y'all? Thanks for checking in. I'm going to be telling y'all about my first gay experience. Uh, I kind of touched on it a little bit in my coming out story, but today I'm going to go more in depth with it. So towards the tail end of my senior year of high school, I was dating this chick, and we were dating on and off for a couple months, and eventually we just broke up. Obviously I was gay, but that wasn't really playing a factor into it yet. We actually had the same stats class together, and we broke up for good. Uh, she moved across the room and switched seats with this dude named Mike, and Mike sat next to me. Mike was a cool dude, uh, I liked him, and when he moved next to me, you know, we, we talked, we joked, and I kind of got the vibe that he was gay, and, you know, there were rumors going around school that he was gay too, but he never really said, but, I mean, I, I kind of knew, I just, I didn't want to assume anything. Now, at this point, I'd never tried anything with the dude, I, I knew that I was gay, I had a had a pretty strong feeling in my mind that I was I pretty much, you know, was starting to accept it by that point, but I'd never tried anything and I didn't have the balls to try anything. That changed after a couple of weeks of sitting next to Mike though. Uh, we would talk, we would joke, he was a really cool dude and I, I thought he was cute and I really liked hanging out with him. Now I didn't really know any gay dudes at this point, uh, he was the only dude that I knew that I had an inclination that he was gay and so, you know, I, I still didn't know for sure, but I, I pretty much guessed that he was. We would hang out more and more. He'd come over to my house after school. I'd go over to his house. I knew his brother. His brother was in my grade and he was in the grade below so I hung out with his brother more often. And I would go to their house pretending to hang out with the brother but really to see to see Mike. One night I stayed over at their house and I was I was sleeping over with the brother and we were all watching a movie on the couch and I was sitting I was sitting here. Uh, his brother was sitting next to me and then on the other side was Mike. And uh, at one point, we paused the movie, and Mike's brother went to the bathroom, and I kind of saw this as my opportunity, and I, I don't know what came over me. I, I grew some balls all of a sudden. I don't know what happened, but I, I leaned over a little bit, kind of kind of resting on the, on the spot Mike's brother was in, and just so I could get closer to him a little bit. And I was, I was looking up at him, and he was looking at me, and we were kind of just talking. I could tell he was flirting. I think he could tell I was flirting. And uh, he rubbed my hair like that, and I think that was the moment that I decided I was going to try something. So I, I put my hand on his thigh, and I moved it up a little bit. And he just kind of looked at me, and he smiled a little bit. And then uh, his brother came out of the bathroom, so we stopped, and I moved back in my spot before he saw. And we just kind of, we didn't really talk about it that night. We kind of just left it alone. I went to bed. That was a Friday. So a couple days later, uh, after class, we had lunch, and we drove in my car and we went to McDonald's. I don't know what the fuck that is. So we were sitting in the drive-thru and he asked me, so what was that the other night? And I kind of looked away, I was embarrassed, but I said, fuck it. I don't know where my balls came from, but I said, fuck it. And I looked over at him and I said, yeah, dude, you know, you're kind of cute that night. I don't know, I couldn't help myself. He laughed and he said, he asked me if I was gay. And I said, yeah, I'm thinking so. Pretty, pretty nonchalantly, I have no idea where my confidence came from at this point. And he said, yeah, me too. And I said, cool, and my ego was, it was going up and up and up. So I, before we got our food, I leaned over and I, I kissed him. And my first kiss with a dude ever. Thinking about it, that was like the riskiest thing I'd ever done in my life. Seriously, I, I'd just come out to him and I was like, mm, fuck, you know, I hope this goes well. I hope he don't tell his brother. I hope no bad shit happens. That night we decided to meet at the tennis courts uh, pretty late at night. There wouldn't be anybody there. It was dark. Uh, when we both got there, he got in my car and that was the first time I'd ever done anything uh, sexually with a dude. <laughs> I didn't really know what I was doing. I'd never done anything with a dude and I was pretty nervous and I think uh, I didn't reciprocate as much as he did. so. He was probably a little bit bummed out by it. I don't know how many people he'd been with, uh, we never really talked about that, but he was good. After that night, we started hanging out a lot more. Uh, we would meet at my house at lunch and we would fool around and it was, the whole relationship was really fooling around. Uh, and this is where it starts to get a little bit complicated. I think he was looking into it a lot deeper than I was. For me, I'd never done anything with a dude. Uh, 
I was really new at it, and I was just thinking about it as experimentation. For him, I think he was thinking about it more as a possible relationship. You know, in a relationship, you go on dates, you do things like that, you're very sweet with each other. Uh, and we would flirt, but it was never really sweet. I was never really sweet, which I feel like a dick. And I'm, I apologize for it. Kind of let him on a little bit. And that's when the crazy started to come out a little bit. So I don't blame him entirely. I think that was kind of my doing too. I remember one time we got into an argument. I don't even remember what we were fighting about. But we got into an argument. We didn't talk for a couple of days. And then one day at lunch he texted me. And he asked me to meet him. And I wouldn't do it. And so five to ten minutes later he texted me and said he was outside my house. And if I didn't meet with him, he was going to tell my parents that I was gay and that we'd been hooking up. Looking back on it, I don't think he would have done shit. I think it was just all talk, but at the time I was I was scared shitless. I raced home. When I got there, we, we had a big blow up. My parents weren't there locally, but we were in my driveway and we argued. He pretty much told me that if I wasn't going to be in a relationship with him, that things were over. And I said, dude, then things are over. After that, things were pretty much just over between us. Uh, we texted here and there, we talked a little bit in class, but we never really hung out. We didn't fool around anymore. Things were just kind of over. For graduation, I actually gave him a watch to wear, and he kept it from me for the whole summer until I would meet up with him, and I wouldn't do it until the end of the summer. I finally got my watch back, and it was all scratched up. So that's how that story time ends, I guess. All right, if you guys like this story time and you want to see more, just comment down below. Uh, make sure to subscribe, tell me what kind of story time videos you'd like to see, and uh, thanks for watching. <laughs> <laughs>